Hey guys, welcome to Quinn's Tree Field, coming to you straight through the power of YouTube, right from Cornville, Maine. Today, uh, we are working, it's absolutely beautiful out. Uh, it was really chilly this morning, but it's a little bit warmer out here today, especially in that sun. Uh, we're gonna prep some fields. Uh, planting season's coming up right along in the next couple of weeks, and I wanna get uh, these fields prepped and set uh, so we can just stop planting real easy. So what does that consist of? Well, as you can see, we have a lot of uh, junk in the field uh, that was left over from harvest season. So I wanna get that stuff picked up and piled up. And then we're going to measure out our rows and we're gonna flag our rows uh, so that when it's time to plant, we can just string our line and, and go. So I got a couple of tools today that we're gonna use. The first one is just good old fashioned handwork, manual labor and clipping these branches but the idea behind this is we want to get rid of these branches so that they don't grow up and become another tree in the future in, in the middle and then we can come back if we want and we can cut these stumps down a little bit now one of the problems that you have when you cut stumps real low like this well, with the chainsaw is the chainsaw dulls right off the bat so I'm investigating uh, the possibility of getting like a carbide chain for my chainsaw. Uh, we have one at the fire station, a Rapco blade that works really well. So I might be doing that, but yeah. So the first thing I want to do is I'm just going to go by hand and just uh, use the clippers and uh, see if we can get this cleaned up. So stick around and we'll get to work. All right, guys, well, two things. A, uh, that sun, that March sun, almost April, is beaten down, and uh, that was really nice. I was really, it was really chilly this morning. We're doing the four seasons, the main thing right now, and I uh, was a little nervous that it was gonna be too cold to do anything out, and it wasn't. I'm really, to be honest with you, kind of bummed. I have to go to an appointment uh, this afternoon and uh, can't spend the rest of the day out here working on that. But we got what I wanted to get done accomplished. It's probably not the most efficient way to do that. That right there is what happens when you don't basil prune. That 100% is why I am an advocate of basil pruning while the trees are on the stump because it, it just saves you so much time down the road. It provides for a better tree, a prettier uh, tree trunk uh, in the stand, and it's just 100%, in my opinion, uh, the way to go. And I'm gonna stick with that, and, and I'm gonna continue with that practice, so. guys so it's been a couple of days ugh, and uh, I've come back to do the layout for the come back to do the layout for the trees in the field uh, I'm gonna show you how I do it and I might do it a little bit differently on this field because it's an existing field but have no fear we can do a ton of different ways now I don't have all the stuff that I need because the store didn't have it, so we'll have to wait until the stakes come in, but we can at least get started and put the flags down. That will look good, look like we did something. So that's gonna be that. Now, all I have here is I got my red flags and I got my white flags. I'm probably gonna need more red flags. But anyways, like I said, we can get started. 
So yeah, so we got red flags and we got white flags. The first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna start out at the edge here. And we'll go ahead and take a measurement. And I wanna see, so the reason I'm gonna do this lay out maybe a little bit different is typically I would do a, uh, where's it mess? Typically I'm gonna do a seven by five layout. That's my preferred layout. But this field was already established. And I might be able to save some time by going to the original layout that we have here. So I'm just gonna run my measuring tape across the stumps. And we actually might be in luck. That's seven feet. And that's 13 feet. Huh. And that's 19. So it almost looks like it was a six, a six by, a really rough six by five layout. So the question is, do we worry about it? 24 feet, so that'd be six. Let's see what's what. I don't know. I think we could go ahead and reset it. It's just gonna take a little bit more work. We're just gonna have to cut the stumps down. I'm gonna start with this row right here, which is gonna be a flag. And then we're gonna, what we do is I'm gonna do two flags. So I'm gonna go seven feet, red, red, 14, white, 21, red, 28, red, 35, white. Okay, so that was about 11 rows that we did. I want to measure, it was 84 feet across at the seven, uh, the seven foot split. And I think I'm leaning toward, if I want to do it, I said that I was going to do it, might as well do it right and go down and cut these stumps down. They're going to be a lot easier than uh, back at the uh, homestead, back at the main, main field. That's going to be a pain, but this is a nice, good growing profile. I can get right in here with the chainsaw and bang those out. And... All right, so that's about 200, well, it's not about 200 feet. It is 200 feet, uh, maybe closer to 210. So if we get a calculator out, remember all the teachers said we were never gonna carry a calculator in our back pocket. I guess the joke's on them. So we have 84 times 200, 16,800. I should have been able to do that in my head, but I'm not a mathematician. I'm gonna divide that by 35 because we're doing a seven by five grid, right? Seven feet by five feet, 35 square feet. That's 480 Christmas trees. I ended up trying to uh, cut the stumps down and it took me about seven minutes to go down a row and back. So I figure I can bang that out in an hour or so, and then that will be good. Then we can run the bush hog over it. As time goes on, those will rot out, and this will end up being reset to a seven by five grid. It allows for more space in between the trees to work, a little bit more air to get through them, which should help minimize disease. I like it. It's what I'm sticking with. So, that's a wrap. As you know, I'd really rather feel bad in Maine than feel good anywhere else. Feel pretty good right now, good day for it. And uh, Darago, my friends, I'll see you soon.